hello friends welcome to my channel this is Charan in this video I will show you in MVC how to get selected drop down list value or text into text box control using jQuery and here we got the final output we got a text box control and the drop down list I'm selecting the employees Smith and see how we get the Smith employee name in the text box control Charan Mark Karan that's it if you are a first time visitor to my channel please subscribe to get the latest updates before writing the coding part in MVC first we'll check the table and the column names for this demo purpose I'm using the employee table which contains four columns I want to bind the name of the employee into a drop down list control let's open visual studio for this video tutorial I'm creating a new MVC project go to file new project I'm selecting ASP.NET web application and the .NET framework is 4.6.1 the project name I'm giving get drop down list value okay and from the templates I'm choosing MVC4 and here the project is successfully created let's close this window open solution explorer I'm adding a ADO.NET entity model into this project I click the project name add ADO.NET entity data model I'm selecting that one the model name get model okay and from the model contents I'm selecting the first one next I'm creating a new connection the server name of SQL server after adding the server name I'm selecting the database name sample db is my user database I'm selecting that one test connection it succeeded okay click next and from the database objects I'm expanding the tables as well as dbo the employee table I'm selecting that one finish and here the entity model employee is added into your project now we'll create a new class in the models folder open solution explorer I'm minimizing the references in this models folder I'm creating a new class right click the models add class the class name get EMP class add and here we got the get EMP class now in this get EMP class adding public properties public int the column name which is the ID get set public string the second column name I'm adding the name get set after that let's create a new controller open solution explorer in this controllers folder right click that one add controller and I'm selecting MVC for controller empty add the controller name is EMP controller add now here you got the controller also now in this action result index method I'm adding my data context which is a SQL server connection string 
sample db entries as d is equals to new sample db entries i'm using view bag to binding the data view bag dot employees is equals to new select list sd dot employees comma here i'm adding my column names id and the second column is the name that's it in the controller now let's bind this name column into the drop down list control for that we need the index view page before creating a view page for this action result index let's build the solution here we got a message the project is successfully built let's close this highlight the index right click that one add view the view name index only and the template empty without model I'm leaving the checkbox select only for the layout page add and here we got the index view page first at the top I'm adding at model the project name is a get drop down list value dot models dot my class name is a get emp class after that I'm changing the header get get selected value from the drop down list horizontal line here after the horizontal line I'm adding the HTML dot drop down list for add html dot drop down list for model model dot the column name is uh, id comma after that I'm adding the view bag employees as select list comma between double quotes I'm adding the default header of the drop down list control select employees that's it we have let's check the output but before run this application we need to configure the route config.cs file expand the app underscore start route config.cs and notice the controller name is a home which is a default one I'm deleting that one our controller name is EMP copy this one and pasting here the action view page is an index only which is this one let's check the output Google Chrome And here we got the output of that code, the drop down list control. See the employee names are bounded to this drop down list control. Now, my next aim is when I select any of the particular employee name, I want to display in a text box control. For that, I'm using jQuery script. Let's switch back to the coding button. stop debugging now I'm adding a script tag script function selected text the object is DDL item in this function I'm adding a variable select value is equals to ddl item dot value variable select text is equals to 
ddl item dot options options between square brackets ddl item dot selector index dot inner html dollar dot val method now I'm adding the select tag select text variable inside this val method let's create the input text box control input type is equals to text id is equals to txt read only read only now I am adding the text box id txt between these single quotes txt is the id so I need to add the hash symbol now the final step is we need to add this function selected text to this drop down list comma new at on change event between double quotes I'm adding this function name this that's it we have done the complete coding part but to run this jQuery script properly on the browser we need to add the latest jQuery for that let's visit google.com jQuery CDN latest Google from the Google search results I'm selecting the hosted libraries notice in this website at the right side the contents I'm selecting the jQuery I'm copying the script snippet the version is a jQuery 3.3.1 I'm pasting here that's it let's check the final results on the browser Google Chrome and here we got the final output we got a text box control and the drop down list I'm selecting the employees Smith and see how we get the Smith employee name in the text box control Charan Mark Karan that's it.